If you're even thinking about a battery relocation in your Subaru, you've come to the right place. In this video, we talk about the iWire battery relocation kit. We'll go over the features of the kit and the benefits of moving the battery out of the engine. Our kit works on every type of Subaru and is a great addition to any project. If you have a race car, it might be valuable to put the battery in the back to offset your weight in the front and to overall reduce the weight of the car if you run a smaller battery. Another reason might be that you have a front mount and there's no room to run the piping other than to remove the battery tray, which means removing the battery from the front and putting a hole in for the front mount. Another reason might be just that you want the engine bay to look cleaner. You're working on making it tucked or shaved or something like that. In this case, getting the battery out of the front is gonna make the car look that much better. If you look at it, it's just a bunch of cables. Anybody can do that. But the engineering that came from this is from building a bunch of custom harnesses for different applications that have been through the ringer. We took all the experience from those situations and built one that is efficient, it works in any Subaru, and will make your project super simple, it will last forever. Because the most important thing is that you don't cause damage to the car or yourself as a byproduct of doing something like this. So don't cheap out. Stereo cable is not the same as automotive cable. They're not built the same. We use the highest grade materials, including fiberglass sleeves, so where it runs through the engine bay can pretty much handle anything that you throw at it. The terminal ends are highest quality, so they're not gonna rust, corrode, fall apart over time. We've designed the harness so that you can relocate it anywhere in the back. In the initial design for this though, we have intended that the battery sits on the passenger side in the trunk toward the taillight because if you're going to race the car, that's the most likely place that you would put it because it's the most offset corner from you as the driver. But that being said, if you have something else over there and you're just trying to get it to the back, the cabling is long enough to reach that back corner, which means it's long enough to reach anywhere in the trunk. So all you really need to do is run the cable from the front of the car to the back of the car and use our pre-labeled, all of our cables have labels as to where they go and what they attach to, and just follow the directions, bolt in your battery, and you're done. In terms of how we've built this harness, is to make sure that your car runs safely and you're safe. The other things that make the install easier are we've included some bracketry to mount in your engine bay for the main lugs that hold all of these cables together. And when you do that, you don't have to worry about trying to fabricate a location, figuring out which cables go where, We've got that all handled for you. You have lots of choices for batteries because the kit is designed to work with any battery that you want. So whether it be a small anti-gravity battery or Odyssey, a full size battery like an Optima, as long as it's a sealed battery that's safe to be in the back, you don't need a battery box. If you end up running a lead, standard lead acid battery, make sure that you put it in a battery box and it will be able to vent outside the car instead of in the cabin which is not gonna be safe for you. The other pieces that we also keep in play are going to be a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is really important for a kit like this because you need protection from your alternator and the rest of your harness and your battery, just in case something happens with one side or the other. The other thing that's kind of a nice feature that comes with the circuit protection, our circuit breaker is a manual reset, which means if you hit this button right here, you can actually disconnect the battery from the rest of the car. So if the car sits in storage for a long time, instead of using a trickle charger, maybe you don't have access to one, you can hit the switch and the next time you come to the car, battery's fully charged and ready to go. Now when you move the battery to the back, the battery is actually a key important piece of how your ECU, your engine computer functions. Grounding is just important as the power side. So if you did all of the power side and didn't think anything about the grounding side, then you might have weird problems that you never would be able to track down because they don't make a lot of sense. So what we've done is included an additional cable that brings the battery grounding from the back of the car to the front of the car and connects it to the engine as it would have been originally when the battery was in the front. And the reason for that is the battery acts as a capacitor. If you think about what the alternator puts out is a wave, it's a big wave. If you have those big waves, the ECU is seeing power essentially go up and down and up and down. 
you need the ground side to level that out so that all of your sensors, whether your air fuel meter, your oxygen sensors, your MAF sensor, your uh, manifold pressure, your, your boost gauge, whatever. As long as any of those pieces is grounded via the engine, you need to make sure that your battery is part of that. With our kit, we make that really easy. We've included all the key parts that you need to do this with basic hand tools. We include everything that you need from a wiring standpoint. The only tools that you might need beyond basic hand tools could be like a rib nut tool because you'll need to mount the battery in the back. And most of the time, the simplest way to do that is to put a couple of rib nuts where you're gonna mount the battery and then bolt it down that way. So beyond what you'd find in a, a standard kit from Home Depot, you shouldn't need anything else. We even thought about if you need to jump start the car. So we've made sure that you can jump start the car from the front in the engine bay, just like you would a standard car. All you need to do is put your positive clamp on the post for power and your negative clamp on something large and metal, just to make sure it's not on the ground strap wiring. It's not designed to handle the amperage of the starter. It's designed to keep your ECU and your engine functionality working the way it should. If you have our hardwire kit, you're in luck. The battery relocation kit works great with it. We include an optional cable that will connect the battery relocation kit to the hardwire kit. When you do that, you will swap out your hardwire kit cable that runs from the front to the back because the cable size is not big enough to support the battery relocation. So you'll replace the battery relocation cable with the hard, from the hardwire cable and include our jumper and you'll be good to go. If you are interested in a hardwire kit and you don't have one, take a look here. If you're interested in the product, please check out our website. There's a link for it in the description. If you're interested in the installation of this kit so you can see more about how it looks in the car and see how easy the install is, you can take a look here. If you're interested in anything else that we do, please subscribe to our channel. We have tons of wiring information for your Subaru. We know it's a scary thing, so we're here to help. Problem? I'm Whitney from iWire. Hey, who are you? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't know who I am. Good try, we're gonna get it. I'm down here. I'm this label down here. You should start with that. There you go. Hi, I'm not dumb. Would it help if I wore an iWire shirt while doing this? <laughs> Uh, it's a great question you ask. You know, there are some questions that are good and there's some questions that are really good. And maybe the best question that you could ask yourself is how could I make this easier? The simplest way to do that is to buy an eyewire shirt because it infinitely makes you smarter.